John Weiss, uh, a, a boy from Baton Rouge. <laughs> yeah, just so, a boy. Uh, yeah, just a boy from Baton Rouge, boy from the Red Stick. So, I mean, not not really, uh, but yes. I mean, I sort of uh, I liked I liked just kind of playing characters maybe in real life just a little bit not 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 a huge amount okay. i mean there's there's an interesting thing to me that uh i started doing impressions when i was really young basically oh, really? because i was watching rich little okay. which was a, an impressionist at the time that was on tv like the tonight show and stuff so i would do impressions that he did and one of the funny things to me is uh, my my father was a dentist and I would go to his office and they had these little uh, cotton wads that they would stuff in the patient's mouth to like absorb saliva while he's working on them. Oh. And I, I would go there and take them and stuff them in my mouth and I would do Marlon Brando. Oh. Um, and, and so the very, one of the very first uh, impressions that I ever did was, uh, was Marlon Brando just from having watched um, Rich Little do him and he's, you know, he's in The Godfather. So, I, and then I end up playing, you know, Christian Brando yes. and Wild Son. So, yes. and, and having to do Marlon Brando. So, you know, yeah, there's that. That's really cool. Talk about full circle. Gosh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Um, but, but I loved, loved movies and I loved TV when I was young. And I think that that was one of the most uh, vibrant, presences in my life like I, I, I was good at school but I was kind of uh I mean I don't know I, I was kind of a wallflower like for a long time uh until about eighth grade when uh when all of a sudden girls started paying attention to me a little bit and then I was uh, just overwhelmed by that and um I didn't really go into acting when I was in high school. I think I was a little scared of doing that at an all boys high school where it wasn't really looked at as cool, you know? Um, and so when I went to LSU and I was in the uh, master's program, there was, I mean, I mean, before I was in the master's program, I, I, I was in the Sigma Chi fraternity and there was a, a brother there that was like a senior and his name was Barry Lee and he was an LSU cheerleader and he was also very involved in the acting program at LSU and he kind of made it cool you know or okay for me to like take an acting class okay so that's really really the first time I ever got anything sort of serious about it Although I did do, you know, an eighth grade play, which was like a thing that everybody did. And um, I think that was kind of it before what I- it was, or do you remember what yeah. it was the play? It, it was The Music Man. Um, yeah, and uh, I didn't play The Music Man, but I did audition for that part and um, got down to me and, and one other guy, Kyle Rockamore, and he got it. I couldn't sing and he could sing, oh. um, but I had, uh, I had kind of memorized the, uh, the thing off the album and I could say it, you know, uh, well, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you're not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. And I still remember it from eighth oh, grade, wow. um, but I messed it up and we were auditioning in church and I said, I, I tripped on the language and I said, you're not aware of the kettle. Shit. <laughs> oh, no. And, you know, nuns. No. Okay, yes. But nobody said anything and okay. uh, they let me go. And uh, But I didn't get the part. But I did get to play Mayor Shin, which is the mayor of the town. And uh, yeah, it was, you know, it was awesome. And I liked it, but then I kind of never really looked at it again until college. 